or else we wouldn't be firing all things or all cylinders this morning. So, but first, I just want to congratulate all of you guys. You know, on with 60 of you and more. I'm sure a few people will be chiming in here shortly on investing in yourself and um, building consistency for you. This whole training right here, I'm going to go over here in a little bit here, but it's um is going to be focused on helping you guys learn the basics of really good client support to help you learn the basics to feel like it's simple, easy, to grow your business, to have fun, to be consistent, to know what to do from all the people that do it really well. You know, I've been basically on a lot of calls recently, you know, with people. We've had a really good start of the year. And um, I'm trying to explain kind of how this all came to be is, um, you know, we've really been paying attention to teaching people these basic things, and they're really starting to, like, show up in people's worlds. We've had a lot of new executive directors. We've had a record number of new coaches since the start of the new year. A lot of people off to a great start, and a lot of people saying, like, oh, my gosh, I want to do a little bit more of this. Um, so we want to take some time to show you guys all these basics. We also have a lot of resident people that are very good at this, people that run over – 10,000 frontline volume and above. So just in the client support world, they are very good at this. They keep it very simple. Um, all walks of life uh, that do this. And a lot of that also translates into having a large team. But we're going to purely focus on the client support aspect right now, getting all of that down so that we can help you guys with that. So we go into a little bit more depth of that. Um, but we're going to do this for five weeks, and so it's going to be this week. And it's going to go all the way to June 3rd, kind of wrapping up a whole month. So we're going to show you how to build a whole month and the routine and the flow of how this works and how it doesn't take you a lot of time. A lot of you guys are probably to the point where, you know, this is for uh, people that are basically a senior coach and above, ideally. And we want to show you guys how if you just spend the time, it's not going to take you more hours to do what you're doing, but maybe for some of you, maybe even less, but you'll be able to have more fun, more, uh, keep it more simple and have, and have more, um, and keep, and just basically be able to help more people. So, um, the other reason why we would do this is because Don, you know, like, so I'm going to actually introduce my co-host Don. You're here this morning with me. Say hi to everybody. Hey everybody. Um, we also been pulling our brains together and you know, Don, you know, this is what people think success looks like that it just this is one straight line. And what it really looks like is a squiggly line. But what we also know is like, you know, our success um, of what we've accomplished today does look like that squiggly line in the middle right there. But what we know looking back on it is if we would have followed the line on the or if we would have paid attention and learned these things. And, you know, as we evolved in the company, it could have looked more like, the right line there on the far right. So that's what we want to show you guys all here as we go through these five weeks. And so I'm going to kind of explain like what the goal is and the structure of it, because we're just going to basically dive in a little bit today, but the rest of it will kind of come together in the following weeks. So, but the goal of this is to help you guys learn how to do a, or how to have a strong coaching business, how to have an influx of people always coming in um, and multiple people from all different arenas to learn from all the people that do this extremely well so that you can do this without adding more time and whether this is whether you're a full-time parent and that's your full-time job or you have a part-time job or a full-time job or you do this full-time whatever your scenario is we want to help you learn how to keep it consistent um, for you to be consistent yourself to how to have fun and how to make this really simple and so that you can also learn how to teach people like this or teach people this like a pro so if you're a newer coach like senior coach to associate director through these five weeks, our goal for you, as long as it's your goal, and if you're here, like, you know, this is actually kind of the disclaimer. If you're here on this call right now, like, you know, you're raising your hand, you're saying, I want to learn to do more of this. I want to grow. And this, this, this trainings that we're going to go over, you can do, you know, if, if, if you're not, basically, let me put this disclaimer in here. If you're on this training right now, you're probably saying, yes, I want to grow. I want to be a better health coach. I want to make this a priority. You know, the training and the pace that we're going to cover is not for the people that are just like, oh, I'll see if I can help a few people as, as I'm going here and see who, who kind of chases me down. This is for the people that want to grow, that want to help people and want to make an impact in people's lives. So I just want to get that disclaimer out there. But, you know, for this training, if you're in that range, the goal through this month would be for you to move to executive director. We will show you the things to keep it simple, easy and not spend a lot of time, but to make really impactful um, uh, uh, time uh, for this. So you can move to executive director through this month or set yourself up very well so that you hit it in June. Uh, if you're a newer five or six point executive director, the goal would you, for you would be to learn how to continue to grow one to three solid points a month in your business. 
and to move towards FIBC and running over 10,000 in frontline volume. Um, and if you are an eight to 13 point executive director, regional director, fully integrated business coach, national or global director, the goal is for you to solidify yourself in all the things that we cover here and to learn how to do it so well that you can teach people very simply to do what you're doing as well. It's the duplication model and, and everyone that we get to reach here. So, so is there anything you want to add into that as a kind of just review some of the basic things here? Well, I just wanted to tell people like, congrats for showing up, you're here. So you're probably excited to learn how to help more people and kind of dial in your systems and learn how to keep it simple and fun. And just remember that if anything we're talking about, you're like, what is that? Or what are they talking about? This is totally a safe place. Put the question in the chat, reach out to your support team or mentor. Like Brad, I just have to be totally transparent. There were times when I was a very, like a baby brand new coach, like somewhere between senior coach and executive director where I'd hop on a training like this and I'd be like, Oh, I, maybe I should know that, but I don't. So I just want you guys all to know that, um, this is for you wherever you're at today, wherever you're showing up from. And if you've got questions, please don't be afraid to ask. We just aren't that kind of a group. Like we want to learn and grow and share together. And that's the point of this. Yep, exactly. And so like, even to that point, like if you guys aren't even, if you're so new that you don't understand what we mean by points, you know, Don's going to cover that. That was also in Doug Woods training on Monday. So like, just get really familiar with these things. We would invite you to just remain consistent and just like anything in your life that you've become pretty good at, you know, spend the time, you know, to, to get familiar with that and put yourself in, um, in, um, in consistency in that. Um, here's what it's going to look like just so we can wrap kind of a pretty bow around it, like so you guys can understand how it all built. Today is going to set a lot of the foundation. We're not going to get into a lot of the meat and potatoes today. And again, like Don was saying, I just want to congratulate you guys for showing up and being consistent, like being a part of this community and being around other people that want to learn and grow. And that's really what makes the difference. It has made the difference for me. So there's actually even a, a lesson in that. So these are the things that we're going to be covering over the five weeks and kind of how they built. If you haven't already watched Doug's Wood Training or Doug Wood's Training from the map uh, or on the map Monday, I would watch that train. That will be posted in the Brash group. We're going to have a whole file section on all this stuff so you guys can go back and reference this stuff. So if you haven't watched that, uh, you'll want to go back and watch that so you can get all the nuances of it. So we're not going to cover a lot of that today. Week number one, we're going to just talk about setting the groundwork, branding, action, structure, schedule, compensation, hundreds lists, and tools and social media. So like we set the foundation for you to be able to go out and do more. Uh, we'll have some action steps for you as we wrap up here. And there'll be action steps and like maybe one short video to watch every single week that you need during the sequence of what we're doing to really make sure it all clicks for you all together. Um, the goal is to basically by the time we're done to have like a big aha, like, oh my gosh, I get how everything works together. Then week two, we're going to hit on follow-up, connecting, social media, Facebook, sharing program, like actual strong posturing. Like I know some of you new coaches, you're like, I wish I knew how to explain program better, or I wish I knew how to do that, or I wish I did it as good as my coach, or how do I start a client? Well, that's what we're going to be going over week two. Week three will we'll be the next half of that is how do you start off a client? Well, day one through four is check-in, client story calls, when and where to do it, binder basics, referring, continuing to grow, all of those things. And then basically week four, as we kind of, um, you'll notice it kind of lines up with how you work a month. We're going to be talking about finishing the month strong, additional nuances, how to harvest your seeds, improving consistency on what you're seeing, like kind of like Nicole was talking about before we push record, like seeing the, the, the influx of what's happening from consistency. And then we'll start off a whole new month together. And now that we've got a whole month under our belt, we'll start off a whole new month of June with the same things that create success on that. So what you will need today is what we talked about in here. And if you don't have it yet, it's all good. Just make sure you have it for the weeks going forward is you're going to want at least 20 well-being trackers printed out fresh because Don, what do we say when you have well-being trackers that are printed out and ready to use? People show up and you end up using them. Yep, exactly. A hundreds list. And I have mine blank to start fresh with you all. And there's two one hundreds lists. If you don't have Dan Valentine's one, this is the one that we're going to be referencing more as we go through this. So either one's going to work great, but this is the one that we're going to be referencing. Your map, um, your schedule, um, so you can get some schedule basics done, even a, a blank piece of paper or whatever you use for schedule. I use iCalendar, so I'm just gonna use my computer. And then of course your binder, that just goes a long way. So that's all you need for today or to start thinking about that, that we're gonna get those in order this week. So before we dive in here to some of the things here today, and just as we're kind of setting this up, I want to bring on a good friend of mine who I'm really proud of. So Denise, you know, I thought this was actually really good, um, you know, timing for everything as we kind of, now people know the overview, they know what we're doing here. You know, you have been the model of consistency. So as we start this, you know, what would you kind of share 
for some of these new coaches here because you know they don't maybe don't know your your story here and how you got to you know where you got to in coaching and how this the stuff that we're going to cover here during this this um, this layout will help them with the same things that you've learned through this process. Thanks, Brad. Um, I'm really glad you're covering all this, and all of us can learn from this basics. Going back to those basics every now and then, I just got to clear the slate, go back to what I've been taught in the beginning, and yes, this has drastically changed my life. Um, my daughter had a little chat with me after a granddaughter was born and said, mom, I want you around, but you're going to need to do something about your health. So I was looking at having gastric bypass. I'm a nurse practitioner and as a health professional, that's what we tell people. That's the cure. I knew that wasn't the cure. So I lost a hundred pounds with this program and it's drastically changed my body and truly I'm able to live out the trilogy healthy body, healthy mind, healthy finances. I wasn't able to walk. I could only take a few steps barely to make it to the kitchen to make my fueling. And now, by the grace of God, I'm out of that wheelchair and I'm up and walking. So I had options. And I was looking at starting a woman's health clinic. But I was a new grandma. Did I want to be gone 14, 16 hour days? This was my dream to help women and really help them focus on their health. But here my health had been changed. Susie introduced me to Brad, this redheaded kid, my husband's redhead. And we did a, a Skype. I didn't even have a computer back then. My husband had to set it up for me. And, and they, I really got to see a picture of the community and what I, we could do with this. And with my medical background, yeah, that was good, but it was really about just focusing on my own health and reaching out and asking other people questions. So the medical background really didn't help me with this. I tell people often, I didn't learn this in nursing school. I learned this on my own health journey. So by following the steps and being coachable and teachable, and yes, there's been tears and there's been growing pains, but I listened. I focus on my map. I make out my hundreds list. I still have the one that I started five years ago. But by following those steps, my husband and I became global directors, all because of that little chat with my daughter. And then those steps along the way that I was able to be consistent. And you too can be where you want to be. You can do whatever you want with this. Just let your mentors know. Plug in. I'm now living a very healthy, active life, five doors down from my grandbabies. I can go down there and snuggle them anytime or jump on the trampoline in the backyard. I never imagined five years ago I could have this in my life and have my family around me. So I invite you today to pay attention. Get out a paper. I'm always taking notes. You may not be able to read them like those prescriptions I used to write. They were hard to read, right? But take some notes. Writing really helps your brain sink it in. And I just want to leave you with three C's. It's coffee. Everybody knows I love coffee. Cheers. Everybody hold up your cup there. Where's your cup? There we go. Community, being together like this, staying a part of your healthy community, and consistency. That's key. Thanks, Brian. I love it, Denise. Thank you. Such a great way to kick us off here. So I think people can really resonate. Like, oh my gosh, like a lot of people probably didn't know that about your story. And now they're looking at you like, I love your background, the medical like help, but it really didn't help. You remain consistent. And I'm actually really excited to, to celebrate you and Frank as new global directors. And it really just comes to the consistency and following the steps of what you followed here. And now you're helping other people do the same thing that you were doing as well, which is fantastic. So congrats. Um, we're going to jump back in here. Let me share my screen. Um, so that now you guys have an idea of what we're covering, how this is all going to work. And hopefully, 
um, you have a good like recollection of how this is all going to fit together. If you have questions, drop them in the chat. Don will be covering those or we'll, we'll scan those and make sure to hit on that. We want this to be really interactive and we will also have some time afterwards in case people want to stay on and ask some particular questions so that no one leaves here with any question marks. So that's what we've got here so far. And then I also want to make one more plug for if you guys were on the sponsoring train, like the additional one that Doug did last week, that was literally probably the best train I've ever been a part of. Never have I seen such like connection as far as, I mean, just good tangible tips on how you support people and posture and work with them, like to really in, uh, it, awaken their intrinsic motivation for their own health, but really how to partner with them and how to layer our full offering. I mean, so it was a sponsoring training, but it wasn't about how to get coaches. It's how to bring value to people and show up in their world. So we have a coach incentive that goes all the way till Monday. So I just want to make one more plug because you guys all have people. If you have, if you're coaching more than five clients right now, trust me. There is a coach in there. So this is a good time to start looking and inspecting that and start to think, who do you want to layer for your partners uh, moving forward? So that goes all the way to Monday. Just want to make sure you guys saw that. The information is in the BRASH page, uh, the BRASH Health Coach Support page, so you guys can see what needs to be done to take advantage of that. So with that being said, Don, I'm going to turn it over to you so we can jump into some of our first topics this week about setting structure, groundwork, and you're going to cover a little bit about some other nuances here today so people can kind of set up their months with success. So go, go for that. Thanks, Brad. Yeah, I am, you guys. Um, you know, we really want to kind of touch on, um, as we go throughout these next five weeks, like helping you guys run a solid frontline business, right, Brad? We were talking about that, and really what you're hearing from Denise and the people that have shared is, you know, we pour into others. We really, it's like knowing where we want to go in our own health and in our own lives. What do we want to bring into our lives? Denise, I loved what you just shared about where you were and where you are now. And one of the things that I'm going to touch on this morning is really, we're going to go over the map for a second. I'm going to go over a little bit of income stuff. And I just want to be completely transparent. I was a full-time registered nurse seven years ago. I'd been working for about nine years and making a really good income and helping people in a way that, you know, I thought was what I was destined to do. But what I didn't realize is that by starting my own health journey, by defining where I wanted to go and what I wanted to bring into my life in that aspect, and then simply turning that around and helping others do the same, blessed our lives so much. And I'll be touching a little bit uh, on um, like exactly how and kind of what that looks like um, in many different areas. But when you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. So one of the things we're going to talk about this morning is putting the transformation together with the transactional. I know the slides on the screen, but if you can kind of imagine these two things coming together, um, Brad knows because he's my health coach and my business mentor, but I was someone who was so focused on helping um, in that transformational space that I really pushed the transactional, like, and that means the map, the numbers, the hundreds list, anything basically that had more than like a two or three, like I just kind of like shut that down in my mind. Um, and mind you, this was seven years ago and I focused on just helping the people. But you know what? When I was able to take a step back and really look at how those two things came together, the synergy and the power there to actually help people change their lives and transform was huge. So I love this slide where it's the puzzle pieces coming together because see, I thought they were separate. I thought that the client support and the math were two separate things in my head. I thought the helping additional clients and looking at my 100s list was different than supporting my clients on my celebration day. And my mind was blown when I actually put those two things together and saw the power that it had to actually transform lives. Um, and the power that that had for me to unlock that creativity inside, inside of me. Um, and the desire to help even more people. So like what Denise was sharing in her story, how it started as a health transformation and it ended with and not ended, but it has transformed into her helping others create those same transformations and that she gets to be with her grandkids and she gets to live two doors down. I mean, these are the transformational things that we're able to do in our own lives and pay forward 
toward to others. Like imagine giving whatever this has brought into your life now, giving that to someone else. I know that that's what we all like. It lights us up from the inside out. So we're going to really talk about this today and we're going to talk about the map. We're going to go over that. You know what? Put in the chat, who has your map? Who's got it at least partially filled out? Who tuned into Doug's training? P pop in the map, like in the chat, like, yep, was on. Um, you know, I'm filling it out. I use my map. My mentor got it. Like, just let us know. Cause you know what, you guys, the, the power of it is this map. I kind of talk about it like a dream catcher <laughs> in a way. This map is an amazing place where all of the names of the people you are tangibly touching go on this map. That is so powerful. That is when, for me, my client celebration day collided with the transform, the transactional helping more people and the vision of what this actually is that we hold in our hands kind of came to be was when on my client celebration day, which is Tuesdays, and we'll be touching on that. So hopefully you have a client celebration day too. But I sit this down in front of me and I actually look at, this is my footprint. These are the people that I'm tangibly touching their lives. And they don't just represent one person. They represent families. They represent communities. They represent other moms like me. They represent grandmas. They represent um, other people out there who have a desire for more in their life. And so I just would encourage you, if you've been in your mind separating somehow the map from this transformational process that we are on and alongside other people, I encourage you to blend them together, to look at this as your footprint on the world and your impact in your communities around you. And then look at each one of these people and see the impact that they could have on the world around them. So I just want to like call your attention to you know, the place where you put your clients right on the front, you know, go back and Doug did such Doug, Brad, you did too. You guys both did such a beautiful job on Monday talking about this, setting us up in not just a transactional frame of mind, but this transformational frame of, of mind where we get to at the bottom, you guys, you get to put where your current reality is. Okay. That's just where you are right now. And at the very top, you get to put what your dreams are, what you're excited about, what you're working on this month, what you'd like to see happen. And then what goes on in the middle, those are those the tangible steps that are going to get you there. So if you look at this, because I got to be completely honest, I had dyslexia growing up. So when I look at numbers and I look at something like this that has a lot of lines on it, sometimes it, it makes me want to close my eyes and be like, ah, okay, calm, deep breaths. But when I look at this now, it is pure passion, pure love, pure power, pure ability to actually help people transform their lives. So when you look at who's on your about to become a health coach list or who's about to get healthy, those are people that are going to go into the people that you're working with. They're going to go up on your team tracker. You're going to be helping that person not only maybe pay for their fuelings, maybe that's going to pay their car payment. I mean, do you see how the transformational becomes a part of this transactional? It's all intertwined. So I kind of want to show you a few things on here because, um, you know, Brad, you and I were talking and just kind of talking a little bit over my story. Um, seven years ago, I was a client. I was someone that Brad was helping lose 45 pounds. And that's what I thought I wanted. That's where I thought I was going. I had my map out in front of me and I was like, okay, get this 45 pounds off. My life will be changed, right? It'll all be better. And then my dad popped into my world and he wanted to get healthy. And then people at work started noticing. And all of a sudden I was bringing people along with me on this amazing road trip. And then my dad wanted to help the people in his life and more and more people wanted to like help the people. And pretty soon it was more than just me and it was way bigger. And I went from being a nurse who you guys as a nurse and Denise knows this, you know, I made a really good income, but I didn't realize what was possible. I'll never forget. Fred, I remember like you got like a text message. I was like, Oh my gosh, I, I just replaced my nursing income. My mind was blown because I wanted to just help a few people and fill up my map because there's pretty lines and I wanted to put, you know, people's names down, but it was transformational. And I'll never forget when then that, that doubled 
So like, I just want to show you guys, like if you've got your map out, take a look at it. And Brad, we're going to show just a little bit of what's possible because maybe you're somewhere in that realm from senior coach to manager or senior coach to associate director. Okay. <clears throat> These are some of the incomes that are possible. So when you get started and you're helping your first five people, look at that. You're making almost $200 a month. That's helping pay for your program. And then you help another three to four people. And that is 300 to $500 a month. You guys, that's amazing. $500 can make a difference in someone's household. That is huge. That's what like national statistics say, Brad, I don't remember because I don't, I don't know this stuff like, like this national statistics and things like that off the top of my head, but I just know that it's powerful, um, that $500 can make a difference. And then look at that another three to four clients as your manager, you can make almost a thousand dollars a month for some people. That's a mortgage. That's putting kids in schools that they want to go to. Then all the way up to associate director, a thousand to 1300 director. You guys look at the average monthly income of an executive director, $1,900 a month minimum. We have a few people on this call that last month, the month before last, they made about $900. And then this last month, just based on a decision, just based on knowing these numbers and looking at where they were at, decided, oh my gosh, $1,800 or $1,900 would blow my husband's mind. Like that would make such a difference in our lives. And then they just made the decision to open their eyes and look around them and be like, okay, who's ready for this? This amazing gift that we have to give. We can stumble over people who are looking for something, looking for health, looking for balance, looking for um, something that they could have purpose and passion for. Um, and then Brad, there's another one here that as you guys start putting this into practice and just it's consistency and showing up and looking where you're at. Look where you can be when you start working with others and helping them do this five to $10,000 a month. That's kind of what I was saying. Like I was blown away when helping others allowed me to um, come home from full-time working as a nurse and then have my husband come home and you don't have to come home, but it is, it was an option that we had and it was an amazing one. And I mean, Brad, we kind of joke, like I help a lot more people in a given week now than I did, you know, in, in the years that I spent nursing, um, and get, being able to do it with my family. Brad, is there anything you wanted to add just as we're kind of talking about the map? I just, yeah. because I just wanted to put the passion and the heart behind the, the structural piece here. Yeah, I, I, you know, I want to be, uh, be moving forward on a few more things because I want to get to some of the tangible things that'll set up everyone's uh, month here. But this honestly, like you know, for some of the people that are getting started, what Don hit is really good here. If you're kind of one of those people that are, you know, if you're one of those numbers people that loves this, great, grab onto it. But if you're not a numbers person and just think like, oh, I just want to help people and I don't want to understand this, understand that you're missing a missing a, or a connection link in here. When you understand what's possible, then you're understanding the gift you can give to somebody else. If you're anyone that's been able to change uh, more lives, like, you know, when you look around the Alacrity or Team Global Room, all every single one of them has a strong understanding of the compensation plan and how this works. So there is a connection between, Don, what you were saying, transformational and transactional. And that's kind of what we wanted to get uh, here as well, because the people that grow the fastest, the people that grow high frontline volume, they have no separation between transactional and transformational. They're just blended together. So just as far as knowing what's possible here on the map and knowing what's possible, one of the action steps this month would be to put on your map in that white space, how much money do you want to make this month? Totally. Making money is a good thing. And I, I wasn't planning on talking about this, but it was really funny. At church last week, um, our pastor asked uh, everyone to go, poverty, it's a good or bad thing, right? And then no one knew how to answer it. It was really, really funny. He's like, guys, it's a no-brainer. Poverty is a bad thing. And it was so funny that no one knew how to answer that question making abundant income, taking care of yourself by helping other people, it's a good thing. And one of the, and this platform will, again, is one of the things that will help you be a really good health coach and be able to run high frontline volume like that we're talking about here. We're talking about the whole goal of this is to grow and run high frontline volume and be, and know the artwork of supporting clients. This actually plays a part of it and we'll come back around. You'll start to see how this all clicks. So, um, I just want to cover this Don, for us real quick as we move forward to understand compensation. 
these are the two documents you need. You can go into the back office, this little picture of where it's at, comp commissions or uh, commission statements or integrated comp plan, you can look up your, your commission and, or the integrated comp plan, it explains all the stuff. I don't even know it by heart, all of it, but I, I do know it pretty well, but I can go reference it. I also made this document for all the people that want to know quick references on what income levels and what it takes as far as clients or different things like that and what you can make over time. So that's in the file section of the health coach support page. So at least you know where to get that. I want to check the chat real quick to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, do, 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 do. Anyways, I think what the coolest thing about all this that I love about this is invest in this, invest in people. The payoff is good over time. And for those that do know me, they know, you guys know that I met with my financial advisor this last week. Becoming a health coach was not only good for my investment in my healthy mind, my life, my family, but it's been really good investment for our, our bank account um, as well. Not just how much we make, but the investment. You guys, when you guys go to work every single day, you get to have changed lives with what you do. Some of you do. Some of you, like this is an additional piece. Some of you are like, for me, it was like, I'm so tired with construction. I want to make a difference in people's lives. But also when I punched the clock and punched out, I wasn't making any income. There was no long-term uh, effect of that. So, you know, that's what Wes, my financial advisor was telling me. It's like, you have created income that also creates sustainable income, but also makes a sustainable impact in the world. And that's the way that you want to make income in this world, ideally. So anyways, knowing those things are key. We'll come back to that. And then, so Don, as we kind of wrap up on this and kind of move into the last couple of things of this, did you, you had something you want to cover on the map here? Yeah, I just wanted to um, kind of cover like, and this is just an example, but and like Doug um, fully went over on Monday, just fully fill it out. If there's a blank space on there that you're not sure what it means, ask your mentor, ask your health coach, because that's a point where you can actually, um, you know, come together with them and learn. So no matter where you're starting, um, most everybody on this call has at least five clients to put in there. Um, that bottom part where it's a, you're about to become clients, like that should be full. And then Honestly, Brad, I'm just going to say my about to become health coach list is longer than my pre-client list. It's huge because of the, just the value and the purpose that we have. So this is just an example of a fully filled out map. And, um, and then this is also just some points on the, about points. If you were listening earlier and again, Doug and Brad went over this on Monday, but every 1200 in frontline volume equals a point. Um, and every person that you help to senior coach is a one point. So that line of business is one point. So just so you understand kind of the points and our goal is to grow um two to three points a month because that's helping more people and bringing it all back around is this is all about us becoming the best versions of us and really diving into even the areas that we might not know a whole lot about like learning more and diving in is amazing um client support bonuses or the buckets brad do you want me to go over the buckets yeah i think i think we covered the the income stuff pretty good i didn't want to spend too much time on it but just really if you guys are getting anything getting familiar with the three ways you get paid it's all in that document that was created there but basically you get paid from client support bonuses throughout the process and when you bring on and support a team to be successful not when you just bring on a team member but when you support them to be successful everything lines up and we'll go over more of that as we, we keep going here but i want to roll forward so we can uh, respect everyone's time today and finish up on time so week number one so these are the things you guys need this week you guys need well-being trackers and your binder um your scheduling um ability your hundreds list because we're going to be going through that your map and we're going to basically like you know kind of your approach to facebook and social media um, as a connection tool so before we hop into that i just want to bring on some people that like again through this process we will have more than just don and i speaking we have a whole list of people that do this very well but i want to bring on christy schuster and then uh, april uh today to kind of share some of these things so april could or uh, christy could you come off today and share a little bit because these things that we're going to go over today as we kind of wrap up are something you do extremely well so i just want you to share a little bit about your story and some of the things that have made the difference for you in your client support, getting to running a high frontline volume and, and actually reaching a fully integrated national director business. So if you come off and share, that'd be fantastic. Good morning, Brad. Um, and thank you, Don and Brad, for uh, allowing me to come on and share with you guys this morning. And I have been having fun just sitting here listening to everyone talk and listening to all these tips. And it kind of got me thinking. So I'm going to go unplug just for a couple of minutes here. But um, first of all, when I started my health journey, like many of us on this call, my um, health was a disaster, physical, mental, financially, all of the above. Um, 
I knew I needed something different in my life. So um, over the process of my health transformation, yes, I lost over 100 pounds, but um, I've gained a lot in that process. And I remember um, not too long after I lost that weight, I was in line at the plasma center because I donated twice a week. That's how I paid for my program, disclaimer. Check with your physician before you do that or have your clients do that. Moving on. Um, <laughs> I was in the line and I was actually looking at, um, I was at a crossroads in my life. I knew I wanted more. I wanted more for my family. I wanted to travel. I wanted, I needed more financially. So I was looking at um, educational programs, masters, doctorate, as a behavior interventionist, I was kind of stuck at my job. And so I'm looking at these programs and looking at the cost of these programs, and I'm like, okay, so you know, another forty, sixty, eighty thousand dollars in educational debt would bring me more money income wise. But really, like when you start paying off that debt, it really isn't bringing you that much more. So I'm weighing and costing, doing the um, comparison, and I'm in line and I'm thinking, I'm like, gosh, I just lost a hundred pounds. I have people reaching out to me, but yet I was stuck in my own head. And I didn't want to grab onto their hands and help them because for some reason I thought I wasn't worthy enough. So um, through some counsel with Dawn, and she's like, well, let's just help them together. So, okay, long story short, I decided to help them, obviously. And um, fast forward, you know, a year, year and a half. And I can't even imagine my life today if I had not said yes. So back to Brad's question at the beginning of this Zoom, how has Optavia Take Shape for Life transformed your health and your life? And as we're thinking about those people on our map, as we're thinking about those people who may not be on our map yet, who are in our world, and you see them hurting every day, and you know they have so much more to live for. And you have this amazing gift. We have this amazing gift in our hands. My challenge for myself and for all of us is to really be bold and invite that conversation with them because they deserve it. <laughs> we all deserve a much better life. So um, that's my two cents on that. Okay, so. <laughs> As um, I'm planning this training, I guess, um, how do we become better coaches? And what are those easy, simple steps that it takes? And honestly, for me, it was really getting clear about a vision and my goals and really linking arms with my support team, Brad and Dawn, and staying connected with them. And then from there, just asking what that next step is and keeping it simple. So a few things that I do that I have done is obviously my map. I fill my map out every month. I usually have it done by the last day of the month and I have it in my support team hands. Well, <laughs> virtual hands. Um, at the top of that, I have a very clear goal of what I want to do that next month. And Here's another secret of mine. I love all those empty spaces at the top of my map, all of the, uh, all of these, because that tells me how much room I have in my heart to bring on some new clients that month. So I'm really picky about who I put on the front of my map. I mean, my map, back of my map is full of clients, but the front of my map is where it counts, and I want empty spaces there. That tells me I have room to grow. Okay, secondly, um, I got clear with my client support day. Sundays, I usually send out, or I'll do my, uh, I'll do a quick second video um, for all of my clients and coaches, um, where I have a tip of the week and just kind of share a little bit of fun information. Monday mornings, I send that out with a short, sweet message. And then um, Mondays, I actually do my client support day. So I got really clear with client support, um, fell in love with connecting with my clients and really, truly 
celebrating them and not doing it as a, okay, here we go again. It's coin support day, check it off. Okay, talk to that person, but really getting excited about each person and knowing where they are in their life and their transformation and really just showing them what is possible in that next step. Two or three, um, I have time block and I do power hours. So um, I am, a, well, I, I, when I started, I was a full-time, was full-time as a behavior interventionist. Thankfully, six months later, I was able to come home and do this full-time. Um, and I have two busy girls. And, oh yeah, this last couple months, I decided to add something else to my plate. And now I train two hours a day, um, Monday through Friday. So I'm busy. Um, not that busy, but anyways, I needed to get clear in with my schedule and consistency. So, um, I time block and I'll do usually a power hour in the morning and then I'll do a power hour in the evening or afternoon, somewhere around there. So I, I actually do about two power hours a day. And, um, one of the things that I'll do in my first power hour is I like to do a five, 10, 50 split. So, um, what that is is I send out five new friend requests and I don't move on to the next step until I send out those five because for me that's hard. It's hard to add people <laughs> to my friends list. So after I've added my five, I intentionally think of who are those who are 10 people that I would like to get to know better, who are 10 people that I want to help, you know, all of the above. So I'll send out 10 private messages to 10 friends. And then the fun part, which is easy for all of us, it's that Facebook scrolling, right? So I will um, comment on 50 friends so I can be in their world and in their life. And that's fun. It's easy for me to go over 50 on that one. So um, take a second there to really think about that. I just did the math a few minutes ago. Adding five new friends a day for 30 days, if you do that consistently in 30 days, that's 150 new friends that you are opening your world to. 10 messages a day for 30 days, 300 conversations. And that's only the ones that you're counting. That doesn't include all the uh, extra ones that you just do automatically. And then of course, 50 times 30 is a lot. So um, power hours, time block, follow up on Friday. I uh, One of my power hours on Friday is always a follow up where I'm texting back, messaging, calling. And then um, personal development. I find time in my day to read so I can grow my mind, so I can help my team and better myself. And then um, I love and I'm loving to have so much fun with my team, inspiring and awakening those dreams that are important to them, helping them have success in their life, in their business, and just having fun together and doing life. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, yeah, Chris, that was extremely helpful. So um, just looking at the chat right now, it's blowing up with your tips and just the, the example of consistency. You know, when you started this, you had a full-time job, young, young uh, two kids, and you made these staples in here and you were able to grow very strongly. You were able to come home from your job and then able to continue going home at, or keep going forward as well. So. Thank you for sharing those tips. And we're going to expand more on those as we keep going. So um, we are a little bit over on time, but I, 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 um, April's going to give us the short version of this because I want to respect you guys on Saturday mornings, the whole reason for the coffee and uh, consistency in the morning so we can get off and get into our day while putting consistency into our business. April, just I want to give a quick overview on April. April joined what our first ED boot camp was. And for those that are brand new, basically every so often we do a series like what we're doing right now. And we used to do ones and we still do ones called ED boot camp. It's for people that are ready to move to executive director to learn all these basics. She joined in on the very first one we did. She grew to executive director and she's grown so much since. That was about a year and a half ago. And now she is one of the people that runs the highest frontline volume in our business. And she does some of these staples that exactly Christy was talking about. So April, um, I just wanted to see if you could give a few of your tangible tips that helped you flip the switch on busting from, you know, making executive director, then to growing, then to being one of the highest frontline volume runners in our business. I'd love for if you could share some of those tips here today, because that's what we're going to show people what to do through the course of this month. Okay, thanks, Brad. I'm gonna talk really fast. <laughs> um, okay, first of all, you know what happened for me, quite honestly, is 
I was a pretty new coach and I went to national convention. And that was a huge, huge game changer. So I really saw the entire vision of what this can be for you and for helping others. Um, the other thing I did, as Brad said, is I was on that training call. And from the time that I was on that training call, I have never missed any of these boot camps, any of these Saturday morning calls. If something came up, you know, which was very rare, I would at least listen to the recording. Um, the other thing that I did is by listening to the trainings, I got my basic fundamentals step, you know, in there. And so I always have a well-being tracker on all my clients. I wasn't good at that at the beginning, and I am very good at that now. Um, I have my hundreds list. Going back and listening to that training is gold. So, you know, go talk to your coach about how you get that training. Um, I get my map in just like Christy on the last day of the month to my mentors. I stay connected to my mentors always. Um, Lori Dufresne did a fantastic training and worked with me on how to set my calendar. So, because I had three jobs when I first started this, I belong to 31 organizations and you might think I'm exaggerating. I'm not. So, um, I, I had no time, but she made me see how I could set rocks in my schedule and how I use a paper calendar as well as my, my other calendar so that I have those rocks for client support for these training calls for whatever it is. Um, the two words that I think I use the most often is uh, consistent and intentional. That's what got me to the volume that I have. I belong to many, many, many uh, groups like a leads club chamber, my fun groups, like my, my Bunko group, I didn't, I didn't take any of those out of my life, but what I did is I just made it more intentional about when I go to any of those things that I always talk about health coaching consistently, always. And, um, uh, okay. And then I, oh, I also started a walking group. So, you know, anybody, you can start anything. If you don't have much series of influence at the moment, make a sphere of influence. Um, okay, so the other thing I do is Facebook. I am very intentional, just like Christy said. So what I do every single morning, in the morning, early, I set up and I send a happy birthday message to every single person, whether I know them or not. If they are my friend on Facebook, they love, every, we all love hearing about happy birthday. So that's going to help the algorithm too, if you're sending, you know, a birthday greeting to everybody. Um, I post two to four times per day, and I alternate between personal positive posts and things before and after pictures, recipes, you know, whatever. And then I also friend request seven to nine people every day. And the way that I find those people, I go to a current friend, and then I look to see that we have at least 10 mutual friends, and then I send the friend request. And I, that is a hard and fast rule for me. Nine friends won't do it. Has to be 10 friends. And the reason I only send seven to nine requests per day is because you can be put in Facebook jail if you, if you do too many. So uh, now I find people friending me a lot from that same sphere. I've, I've been working with this one gal where I've been doing that every day since January, and I'm only on the M's. So anyway, those are my tips, and I uh, hope that was helpful. April, those were incredible tips. I love that so well, all the tangible things that you've done there. And I also want to point out one thing that April did at one point. April, when you were at a point where you were like, okay, I want to grow more, but you know, maybe you were sitting at like seven to 8,000 frontline volume. I don't even think you were there. What we actually sat down with Lori was help you to create a schedule. And you actually got really intentional about your days so that you were showing it more consistently. And I remember your volume jumped exactly right then, and then it jumped again after that, and then you start getting some momentum in what you're doing right now, and then it just clicked. It's all predictable transformation, but you set up the structure to make it happen. It's funny that you ran the same frontline volume for like eight months, and then you made the switch of the schedule and the, and the little high leverage activities, and it shot up like in a second. So well done, great tips. The, uh, the chat's blowing up, and I just wanna share my screen real quick as we wrap up here. Um, April cannot thank you enough for those tips. Super great, Christy and April, great job. So as we wrap up here today, these are the things that I want you guys to get some practice with this week. 
um, April. Great job mentioning Dan Valentine video. That is going to be the one video that we watch between now and next week, as well as Becca Tinter's video. But right now, I want you guys to confirm, like April said, well-being trackers. At first, she wasn't really good at utilizing them. So it's okay. We're all about progress over perfection. You know, that's what we're making. You know, eventually perfection comes from making progress over time. So grab your well-being trackers and make sure you have them printed out. If you're new and not utilizing yet, that's what we're going to start doing very consistently. Start utilizing them all the way. We will cover them more when we get to the client support pieces, but you need them printed out. This is a structure setup. So get really good at seeing these and utilizing these and no one's running over 10,000 frontline volume without utilizing these. You will not be able to be an efficient health coach. You will go crazy and you will not be able to you know, have any time, mind freedom. So that's one thing. Contactless is the other thing. And we're gonna summarize all this with some action steps this week. There is the contact worksheet that looks like the one on the left here. And then there's the Dan Valentine, you know, 100 person list, you know, utilizing for social media. We recommend using the one on the right. Neither one is wrong. Having a list, not having a list would technically be wrong. So we want you for this, we're gonna be going over a little bit more in depth, but you can see it helps you start building a relationship with people. You build the list, you can start making the connections and moving them forward and it gives you a really simple way to do that. All you do is you need a list and if you have a list and you can continue to add to a list, it is a growing piece of someone, like anyone that's running the high frontline volume and has good quality support, has bringing on clients consistently, guaranteed they have a very strong list of coach or a client and coach candidates. So just getting familiar with that and having that rocks that set. The other thing we talked about was a schedule. I saw some great questions in the chat. Paper or, um, or on the computer, whichever works for you. I, my wife and I do this. Ashley, I was hoping Ashley would speak today, but we got very sick in our household, so she's resting up in, in bed right now. Um, she's the one, like we, we have to communicate our schedule because we both work this job together. We use iCalendar because we can send invites to people, confirm it, and it's also in our phone. It's in our computer and we can also see each other's schedules. So whatever works best for you, just have a calendar that you can schedule your things on. It makes it really easy and that's a super important system piece. Schedule in your daily Facebook activity and connections like April and, and Christy were talking about. These are things to be scheduling in daily and that we will practice. The other thing you wanna make sure is blocked in there, client check-in day one or two days, preferably one or two if you're getting to a solid frontline volume of over 10,000 where you check in with your clients. More to come on why that's important, but we'll just say for right now, it's for sanity reasons, but also there's so many things that, that matter down the line as far as like why things click together if you have this going. You will see how it all comes together in the next few weeks. So schedule a day that you will consistently show up, and even a backup thing for when all heck breaks loose on one of your days that you know and your clients know that you're gonna call them that next day. The next thing is to have some times in your schedule where you know you can quickly and effectively share program. Like I wanna use Antonio for example, you know, he lives in the Bay Area, he still works a full-time job, and he knows that he can use his lunch on the way to work or after work or certain days where he can call, share, or schedule people that are ready. He doesn't have to think about it when someone says, hey, I'm interested, he can say, great, let's talk here or here. And he gives them the option because it's already in his brain. He's also not working seven days a week. So it's already plugged in. He doesn't have to think about it. The more you can have repetition and have that in your schedule, the faster and more effectively you can help people. The other thing to put in your schedule this week would be 45 minutes to an hour of follow-up day. I'm gonna go with the Dan Valentine tried and true. Friday follow-up is key. A set aside time where you could actually um, accentuate connections, relationships, checking back with people, past, current, um, or you know, pre-clients, all these things, time for you to continue to tend to the seeds that you've planted. It's so key. And then basically plug it into team training. So you guys, like Saturday mornings for the next little bit, and the leadership call on Monday night. Great time, schedule them in there so you don't have to think about this. And the cool thing about this, and this is where I wanted to go with this today, is if you're growing, if you're in that market people where we're like this month, we want to help you move to executive director and beyond. If you spend eight to 10 or eight, I would say even eight to 10 hours, I put eight to 12 on here, but if you spend eight to 10 hours a week and that's even on the high side, I would say you can grow an executive director and above business with that amount of on purpose time. And that's, you guys do the rate per hours. Um, it's pretty incredible. And if you also magnify it out by like, you know, Christy, April, Don, Denise, everyone who I had shared today, you guys know the investment of what pays off over time. That is a really good time spent for part, uh, less than part-time work put in. We wanna show you how to be very consistent on this 
and keep it really simple. So that's this week's training, guys. A lot of it is laying the foundation. We will be going more in depth on the nuances week by week on client support because I know that's what most of you guys showed up here for but if we don't have this set none of the stuff really matters it's honestly it's like showing up to a class without a note paper and the ability to get you can only absorb so much so that's why we spent the time on this because also this also lays the foundation for a repetitive habit you know notice a lot of people talk about setting up the map and having their week scheduled so that's why we're hitting on this stuff first so um, these are the action steps for this week as we wrap, wrap up here if you haven't this will all be posted in, in the support page too so you guys can see all this. So don't feel like you have to write it all down. All these things will be simple and we'll give you guys a full week to work on this. But if you haven't yet, watch Doug Wood's map training from Monday. I know most of you guys have. If you have it, fill out your map and send it to your support team and write down your income goal like Don encouraged us to do. You know, just the practice of actually making a goal of like, huh, if I help out this many people, if I keep moving along the path, what will my reward be? for making that, that impact, understanding where your compensation comes from. If you're not executive director yet or you're brand new, make sure you have already this month, grab 10 to 15 minutes with your support team at the start of the month to be like, okay, what's my next steps? These are tried and true things. If you're missing that connection at the beginning of the month, I would say that's one of the top things you are missing to grow your business because you're just out there floundering with not knowing your next steps. Um, these are the action steps for this week if we, if before we did this call, but was print and fill out a hundred persons list, um, at least 50 people on your list as we go through this week. And then basically, if you're not already at Christy or April's level, start practicing the basic tips of using social media. So change your profile picture to a health related photo or a before and after or before and, and uh, before and now. Start add seven Facebook friends this week so you can get in the habit. That's one a day or just one massive, you know, um, invite this week. And start at least seven message with people from your Dan Valentine's 100s list so you can see what happens. And we'll get into more of that. But starting a conversation literally just means, hey, how's it going? Or an authentic reach out to someone that is on your list and on your mind. So that's the thing. And if you're keeping pace for something that would be really good for you to work on this week as a newer coach growing, assist two clients this week to start their journey. And this is a mindset thing. You should be able to look at your map, your contact list right now and say, there's at least three or four people that if I focused on, they would be ready to get started. I just need to spend my action there. Because starting two clients out in the first week of the month sets a tone for your business that you, you can't even really comprehend. So just kind of get familiar with these metric things here, because and as well as this will help you move towards executive director this month. And then throughout this week, we will post the links to these videos we want to watch the Dan Valentine video um, on creating your 100s list and how you reach out authentically. And then number two would be how to move conversations to the phone by Becca Tinter. That'll be where we pick up next week. So that's everything this week. I want to congratulate you all for investing in yourself and investing in your time in this and congratulate you from in advance on you guys moving to executive director or a solid two to three points this month. So Stay in, stay community, grab your coffee. We'll see you every Saturday morning for this month. So I want to thank everyone who shared great stuff in the chat. And Don, anything you want to add in here as we kind of wrap up the call today? No, just letting people know that we will link all we will link the videos and the tools in our um, in the Brash support page and and in the other support pages for coaches. Yep. This the action steps, the documents, like we'll we will put them in there. There will even be a document that goes week by week, like the checklist of stuff, so you can be caught up. And we will recap this as we start next week call and move into a little bit more solid layering, more in depth on Facebook, how to share a program. We're gonna get into some of those tangible things, but just like a foundation of a house, it all depends on how strong your foundation is. So we want to work on that this week and get stuff get moving in some of the solid action steps that help you grow a business. So have fun getting your structure even more dialed in this week and let's go out and make it May I'm gonna, or make it the best May ever. We're already off to the best start of the month we've ever had as a whole group. Congratulations to you all. And I'll put one more um, plug in here for this is if you just keep spending the time doing this, it will start to pay off. What you will see by the end of this training is you will start to see the catch up of your daily actions starting to add up. You might not see them right away, but we will be going step by step and you will see how everything is interconnected on here. So you guys all have a great um, um, weekend. Um, have fun with the next few steps. I just want to say thank you for spending Saturday mornings with us. This is the best way I can think of to start off Saturday morning. So thank you, Denise, Don, Christy, April. Great stuff. And let's go all off and have a great day. Talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.